Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillah ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Allahümme enfa'ni bimme allemteni ve allimni bimme yenfa'ni ve zidni ilmen inneke l'alimul hakim. Allahümme ekhrejna min zulumatil vahim ve ekribna binuril fahim ve ifte aleyna bimarifetil ilim. وسهل أخلاقنا بالحلم اللهم ارزقني نعمة الإخلاص لوجهك الكريم بكل ما أقول وبكل ما أفعل آمين يا رب العالمين My topic today is about gastric cancer Gastric cancer is a predominantly adenocarcinoma and has poor prognosis and uh, five years survival rate is less than 20% and it is common in Japan, Chile, Finland, Poland and Iceland and risk factor include diet, helobacter pylori gastritis, atrophic gastritis, pernicious anemia, adenomatous gastric polyp, partial gastrectomy, mentorial disease. And the uh, patient is commonly presented with epigastric pain, bloating, early satiety, nausea, vomiting, dysphagia, anorexia, weight loss, iron deficiency, anemia, and bleeding sometimes. As we see here, bleeding in patients with gastric cancer due to ulceration. With pain due to invasion and infiltrated will type will go cause weight loss and also deformatic infiltration cause hiccup. Here, the radiological investigation of gastric cancer include barium studies, CT, MRI, and bed CT scan. Here we see normal normal a normal patient with a gastric ulcer and there is no malignant evidence of this patient and this there is radiating faults due to in, into the ulcer. Here there is patient with large bulboid gastric mass involving the body and the antrum of the stomach. Here, this is another patient with a large irregular lobulated mass involving the greater curvature of the stomach. Here, large mass involving the cardia and the fundus of the stomach. Here, this is a linitis blastica or scabrous type of stomach cancer and here this is the another patient with linitis blastica involving the body and the antrum and here another patient with linitis blastica or scabrous type answer involving the body and the and the antrum. Another patient with gastric cancer infiltrating the stomach and stomach body and the antrum. Here, this is the CT scan of a patient with gastric cancer involving the lesser curvature with a small lymph node in the in the hepatogastric ligament region. Here, this is another patient with gastric 
cancer involving the greater curvature with the small uh, lymph node around the greater curvature and the lesser curvature also. Here another patient with uh, gastric cancer involving the lesser curvature. Here, as we see, enhancing mass. The mass is penetrating the gastric wall and causing stranding on the and adjacent to the stomach and the adjacent fat of the stomach. And the same patient has multiple lymph nodes around the gastric lesser curvature of the stomach. Here, another patient with the marked thickening of the antrum and part of the body of the stomach with extension outside with lymphadenopathy causing linitis plastica. Here, another patient with the extensive thickening of the gastric, uh, gastric antrum and body with with irregularity and heterogeneous enhancement. Another patient with gastric cancer involving the lesser curvature with polypoid masses enhancing as we see in this CT scan. Another patient with gastric cancer involving the lesser curvature with multiple lymph nodes in the gastrohepatic ligament region and liver metastasis. Another patient with gastric cancer with ascites with multiple lymph nodes and omental and mesenteric metastasis with also lung metastasis and the pleural effusion. Also, the gastric cancer can be detected with a PET CT scan, as we see in this patient, with liver metastasis. Pathological staging of the gastric cancer, the T stage, T tumor in cyto, tumor in cyto, it is into epithelial tumor, T1 extension to the submucosa, T2 to the muscularis probia or subservosa, T3 penetration the servosa, and T4 invading the adjacent organs. In stage, no lymph node, N1 metastatic lymph node, 1 to 6 lymph node, N2, 7 to 15 lymph node are involved, N3, more than 15 lymph node are involved. M stage, M0 no distance metastasis, M1 we have distance metastasis. And this is the staging and the survive, five year survival rate. In stage one, we have about 88% five year survival rate, but in stage three, it is involved the about 35% and in stage 4 it is about 5% 5, 5 year survival rate. And here this is the summary of TNM staging classification as T1 to T4, N0 to N3 and M0 to M1. Thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk.